Before you start taking Dahlia de Graver, be sure to read the patient information leaflet from your pharmacist. If you have any questions, ask your doctor or pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth with or without food as directed by your doctor, usually one to two times daily. It is important to take this medication at least two hours before or six hours after taking sucrophate and products containing aluminum or magnesium. These products can bind with dolutegravir, decreasing its effectiveness. If you are also taking calcium or iron supplements, take dolutegravir at least two hours before or six hours after these products. Or, if you take dolutegravir with food, you can take calcium or iron supplements at the same time. The dosage is based on your medical condition, response to treatment, age, and other medications you may be taking. It is very important to keep taking this medication exactly as prescribed by your doctor. Do not skip any doses and take this medication at the same times every day for the best effect. Do not take more or less of this drug than prescribed or stop taking it even for a short time unless directed to do so by your doctor. Doing so may cause the amount of virus to increase, make the infection more difficult to treat, or worsen side effects. If you experience headache or trouble sleeping, make sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because the benefit outweighs the risk of side effects. Most people using this medication do not have serious side effects. Be sure to inform your doctor immediately if you experience any of the following symptoms of liver problems, signs of kidney problems, mental or mood changes, or symptoms of your immune system becoming overactive. It's important to seek medical help right away if you experience symptoms such as unexplained weight loss, severe tiredness, or signs of infection. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, seek medical help immediately if you notice symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. Remember that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects not listed. If you are in the U.S., call your doctor for medical advice about side effects or report side effects to the FDA. In Canada, call your doctor for medical advice about side effects or report side effects to Health Canada. Before taking Dahlia de Graver, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions. It's also important to discuss your medical history, especially if you have liver or kidney disease. If you're planning to have surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications and products you're using. For women of childbearing age, it's crucial to talk to your doctor about the risks and benefits of using this medication. If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, your doctor may recommend a pregnancy test before starting this medication. It's also important to use reliable forms of birth control while using Dolutegravir. For women who are breastfeeding, it's important to consult with your doctor before breastfeeding, as this medication can pass into breast milk. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions when taking Dolutegravir tablet. This medication may interact with other drugs, impacting how they work and increasing the risk of serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription-slash-non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's crucial not to start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with this drug are, dofetilide, orlistat. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist before taking any new medications while using Dolutegravir tablet. If someone has taken too much Dolutegravir tablet and is experiencing severe symptoms like unconsciousness or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek medical help immediately. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while Canadian residents can call their provincial poison control center. It is important not to share Dolutegravir tablet with others. Your doctor may also require you to undergo certain lab and or medical tests, such as liver and kidney function, viral load, and T-cell counts, while you are taking this medication. It is important to keep all your medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the usual time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing Dolutegravir tablet, 
it's important to keep it at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Make sure to store the tablets in their original container and keep the desiccant in the bottle to protect them from moisture. It's crucial to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. And when it comes to disposing of the medication, it's best to consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company to do so properly. And remember, never flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.